All right, this last introduction part we're going to take a look at before we get into creating some characters in animation. I know you guys have been waiting for that, but this will set you up for that. This next part, we're going to see how to add in different shapes because, I mean, come on, as cool as the default cube is, there's some other shapes that we could add as well. So let's move the default cube a little bit, hitting GY, and move it out of the way. And by adding in an object, we just hit Shift A, or we could go up here to add, but Shift is a hockey. And you could see, we could add in a bunch of different objects. We could add in a camera, which we have right there, and we could add in a light and some armatures, which are bones, to animate our characters, a bunch of other stuff. But to add in objects, it's under mesh, because these are called mesh objects. And you can see we have a bunch of different ones, such as a plane, a cube circle. We got a monkey, guys. How cool is that? All right, let's start with the coolest. Let's not play around. Let's add in a monkey. Actually, the monkey is probably the least used one. But anyways, it is super cool. As you can see, this is a monkey. It's called Suzanne, and it's kind of Blender's mascot. So there we go. And again, you could go into edit mode and move around the edges and vertices and whatnot. Now let's add in another shape. All the other ones are going to be so-so not as cool as the monkey. Now they're pretty cool. We have a torus right there, which is kind of like a donut. So if you want to make some kind of donuts or something, this is a good shape or a ring or a chain hitting shift. Again, we could also add in a UV sphere. So this could be like a ball, some eyeballs for your character, etc., etc. And again, if we had tab, you could see this is comprised of four vertices. And so the thing is, with meshes you want when you're modeling, which modeling is basically when you extrude and create a character or mesh, which we're going to do in the later videos, you can see that all these meshes right here are comprised of square faces. Could see they all have four vertices. And for the most part, you always want your mesh to have four vertices. The reason being is that when you deform it with some bones later on, if asked for vertices like this, it deforms a lot better. So right here, these are quads, and they're again created with four vertices. Now you can see some parts have only three vertices, like right here, it's called a triangle. Now triangles are, they could be in some parts of the mesh, but they have to be positioned in certain parts where it's not going to deform. The reason being is with triangles. When you add in some bones, they do not deform well, and they create stretching and some very bad artifacts. So again, when you're modeling, keep in mind that you always want your faces to have four vertices for the most part. Sometimes it will have three, sometimes they will have five. But again, for the most part like that, you can see on the sphere, it's all four vertices on all of them except for the top right here. These ones at the very top have three and they are triangles, which again is fine in most cases. But when you're animating something, especially if it's going to be bending in that area, you do not want triangles. All right, enough talk about triangles. Let's talk about a square. We're going to add in a mesh plane. Now, a plane is kind of like a cube. However, only one side of it, as you can see right there, brilliance. And then let's take a look at one last one or two more. We got a circle right there. We had tab, you could see that has vertices. And let's move that out of the way and shift. We're going to add in an ecosphere, which is kind of like UV sphere. However, it's comprised of only triangles instead of squares. Sweet. All right, so that is how you add different objects in Blender. Shift a mesh and you've got a bunch of different objects here. And we'll take a look at a lot more options here later on, such as, you know, camera, light, armature, etc., and more manipulating these objects. But for now, enough shenanigans. Let's get into animating and modeling our first character and animating our first character, which give me a lot of fun. I know you guys have been waiting for this, so let's head on over to the next video chat for now.